Page 54, Unit 7, The Green City, Part 1. Listen and follow the text. It was a hot Saturday morning in July. Umair and his big sister, Rida, were on the roof of their block of flats. Rida was playing with her games console and Omer was doing handstands. Suddenly, he heard a low humming noise. Omer turned and stared over the rooftops. There were satellite dishes on all the roofs, but he could not see anything strange. Then the humming stopped, and he only heard the cars roaring along the highway below. He could smell them too. Even the wall around the roof felt sticky with dirt. He looked down. The forecourt of the flats was clean, though there was litter all over the street outside. But then, there was nothing unusual about that. Come away from that wall, Omer, called Rida. Don't boss me around. I'm eight now. I'll be careful, said Omer. Then Omer turned to look at his own rooftop. That was when he saw it. A big black box with a pointed top. It looked like a water tank, but it had a door in the side. Look, Rida, he called. Rida looked up from her game and noticed the big black box. What's that? she said. I don't know, he replied, but I'm going to find out. Don't go in, she warned, as he walked towards it. I'll do what I want, he said rudely. Go back to your games console. Come back, shouted Rida, running in after him and pulling him back towards the door. Slam! The door closed behind them and an engine started. First, it whirred. Then it rumbled. Finally, it roared. Zoom! Omer and Rida felt their stomachs sink to their feet as the box shot up into the sky. Wow! said Omer, smiling with excitement. We are in a rocket! We are going into space! This isn't a game, Omer, said Rida. It's real! For five hours, the engines rumbled and roared as the box rocket travelled through space. The children were beginning to get hungry and frightened when, bump, the box landed. Don't open the door, said Rida. We don't know if it's safe. Omer opened the door and looked about in amazement. Look, we are on the roof of a block of flats, but it's very different from ours. Cautiously, Rida followed him out of the black box. All around them was a huge city. There were solar panels on all the roofs. Around the flats, there were tall, shady trees full of butterflies and birds. A branch with little yellow fruit leaned over the wall. The streets were full of cars. But something was strange. What was it? Suddenly, Omer realized why this green city was so different from his own. The cars made no noise. The children could hear no sounds except the chirping of birds. The air was cleaner and cooler. There was no smell except for the faint scent of the fruit on the tree. Mmm, said Omer. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat some fruit. Don't touch that fruit, cried Rida. We don't know if it's safe. Have some crisps. I've got some in my pocket. They shared the crisps, but Omer was still hungry. He popped a yellow fruit into his mouth. Yummy, he said, enjoying the sweet, juicy taste. He threw the empty crisp bag over the wall and picked another fruit. I preferred the fruit to the crisps. Just then, they heard a voice from the stairs behind them. 
What you doing? They turned round and saw a very strange creature. It had three thin legs, arms as long as snakes, and eyes all round its head. It had short blue hair and an enormous mouth. Rida was very scared. For a moment, the creature stood still. Then it rushed to the black box and took it to pieces, laying the sides in a neat pile. Wow, said Omer. That's amazing. Rida said nothing. Omer's forgetting something, she thought. How are we going to get home without the black box? We are trapped in this green city. To be continued.